Hey everybody, so my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing, Guidance, and Tarot. So this message is going to be for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, okay? And this is just going to be for the week, alright? So let us just see what energies Spirit wants to bring in and discuss and talk about whatever you want to call it at this time, alright? Let us see, where did I put those on? Alright, so energy for Pisces. What messages? Do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Spirit? What messages do we have for Pisces at this time? What messages? We have Blossom and Abundance in Reverse. I feel like some of you are worried about your finances or worried about your career or worried about what to do next. We have Deceit in Reverse. I feel like this is because someone around you is... Possibly messing with what you have going on, okay? There's something in regards to your livelihood that's being tampered with, okay? With this deceit card here and Blossom in Abundance, I feel like anytime you get to a certain place in life where things are progressing and moving forward, there is someone, or at least you feel like there's someone or someone's, as in more than one, uh, people who are working behind your back on you, okay? So let us see what's going on here. We also have action and a thinking man. So I'm feeling like... Spirit is confirming your thoughts. And so if you've been thinking about pursuing any type of, um, hmm, I don't know, ritualistic practices, Spirit is confirming and, and also approving that you can do that because we have the action card, okay? So Spirit is telling me that you've been thinking about taking some action on it, and I'm feeling like you should, okay? Let's see what is going on. We have contract here. Yeah. So I'm getting like whatever you've been thinking about moving forward. This could be a lease. You've possibly been thinking about moving. Um, you could also be thinking about changing jobs. Um, maybe you've been doing this on the low. Okay. Maybe you've been doing this without anybody being aware of it. Maybe you've been looking for another job without anybody knowing. Okay. If you're inside of a marriage, maybe you've been thinking about what it is that you want to do. Um, whether it be a proposal. Okay. For some of you, I also feel like maybe you're thinking about giving somebody a ring. Okay. But you're thinking about uh, this person being, uh, what, what do they call it? Like a gold digger. Okay. That's not everybody's message. Obviously that might be for a Pisces male. Okay. Who is thinking something like that. Okay. So let us see where spirit is going with this. Okay, we do have man holding a heart in reverse. Yeah, I'm feeling like for this Pisces male, okay, you've been thinking about proposing to someone, okay, and wondering or not if you should take that step, whether or not you should get married, okay, with this contract part here, but you've been recognizing that this person might have some tendencies that you didn't know about. Maybe this person is only with you for what you have or who you are, okay, so maybe you're thinking about withdrawing your offer, okay, let us see. Okay, either this is you or someone connected to you, okay? Then we have the thinking woman in reverse. So I feel like maybe this woman didn't think that you would ever find out about this, okay? So remember, Pisces, either this is you or the other person, okay? So they didn't think that you would ever find out about this, but we do have door to spirit here because, after all, you are Pisces, right? And you are intuitive. So I feel like you would be on to somebody doing something. Yeah, so with the fourth chakra in reverse, I feel like you, you recognize what somebody is doing or what their intention is. Somebody could have also found out that maybe someone was, you know, already in a committed relationship with someone else and just using you, okay? I'm getting that because we have caring connections here in reverse. As soon as I said that, wow, we had the sun card here. So I feel like you're a very happy person overall, whoever you are, right? And this person came in and pretty much caused some destruction emotionally, all right? And it puts you in a pretty hostile place, okay, towards this person or whether it be just being standoffish and guarded in general, okay? But then we also have caring connections here in reverse. So I feel like, like I said, maybe you thought you had something with this person that you recognize you don't have after all, Okay? And you were trying to be patient with the situation, but you just ended up having a broken heart at the end of the day. Okay? So let us see where spirit is going with this. Yeah, I'm definitely getting you, you know, with this card here, following your intuition is very imperative at this time. Okay, so spirit messages for Pisces. Alright, messages for Pisces. Venus and Jupiter. Messages. I'm getting two. 
that if someone was wow we have laugh at your demons okay so i'm getting that if someone was trying to get over on you you know you're gonna let them know that you know about it okay and it's not gonna be <laughs> you're not gonna do it in a nice way let's just say that okay but i do feel like you'll be happier afterwards we have make necessary sacrifices i feel like once you let this person know that you know about their deceit or their whatever it is that they're doing um i do feel like You'll feel lighter. You'll be, you know, um, back to yourself again. Okay. I feel like ultimately that's what I see because we have, oops, we have patience and we have caring connections here in reverse, right? So if you were trying to, like I said, be patient with the situation, you realize maybe the situation is not what you thought it was after all. So it made you a bit hostile. Okay. Um, this person came in and pretty much disrupted your life for no apparent reason or pretty much wasted your time. But I do feel like once you let them know that, you know, okay and you laugh at the situation with laugh at your demons you make that necessary sacrifice you may not want to say something to them because you might not want to look foolish right but i feel like if you do say something to them then you'll feel lighter because you have your closure okay regardless of what they think or how they feel and see that's confirmed with the sun card you'll be right back to your happy self okay I also feel like this will restore balance because you have the sun card here but then you also have goddess of the moon here so i feel like that will restore balance for you okay see shine your light so i feel like yep all right i don't know who's and it says speak up that's a very specific message for somebody okay that part may not be for everybody but if not we are pulling more cards so let's see what's going on actually yeah let me keep these out and see where spirit is taking this time <clears throat> messages for pisces spirit sun moon rising venus and jupiter Messages for Pisces, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What messages? Ooh, we got Shadow and Reverse. Yeah, I feel like something that's been done in the dark is going to be exposed. It's going to come to the light. If it hasn't already, then it's definitely about to. And it's going to make you feel a bit weak, a bit sick to your stomach, okay? Um, like, you, you felt like, you know... Uh, it could have been a possibility, but you were really praying and hoping for the best as you should have been, right? We should always be optimistic and hopeful, right? But yet we have spiritual union in reverse. I feel like you're going to find out something that's going to make you sick to your stomach, okay? Um, however, I do feel like, like I said, you're going to be okay because, like I said, we have this sun card here. Right? This is abundance. This is happiness. This is joy. This could also represent a pregnancy for some. Okay? But we have discontent and boredom. So with the Four of Cups, I feel like once you find out about it, you're going to completely turn your back to the, the person or the situation. Okay? But like I said, do not just shut down and not explain why. At least tell this person what it is that you know. Okay? With the third eye chakra here in reverse, I'm feeling like, like I said... You were really just praying for the best. It's not at all that you didn't know because this is clarifying this card here, okay? So the third eye chakra in reverse, and that deals with your intuition. So it's not like you didn't know. It's just a matter of you were really hoping for the best. You really, really, truly were, okay? But we have balance. Didn't I say that? I said your balance is going to be restored, okay? So I feel like all things, you know, done in the darkness come to the light for a reason. And we also now have 111. So keep all your thoughts positive, even thereafter, okay? Understand that there are no mistakes. Trust the divine plan, okay? Trust the divine plan. All right? That's from me to you. We have the universe right here, so that's confirmation. Trust the divine plan, okay, Pisces? And please, guys, if this is not your message, please do not try to make it your message. All right, it's not going to be for every one, okay? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You know, that's what personals are for. These are general, guys, you know, for everyone, so. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If this message does not resonate with you, please do check out the overall November message, okay? Maybe that one resonates more. Or you could even check out some of the other videos that pertain to placements on your natal chart, okay? Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We 
have loneliness here in reverse. So I do get this sense that, okay, either this situation, like I said, it has already happened or it's going to. And when it does or when it did, you felt extremely lonely. You felt back out there on your own, on your face, something, okay? Maybe you feel like that right now. Maybe you feel like you just don't have a support system, okay? That's what I'm getting. Because right here with these people putting, you know, all of their hands toward the outer layer of the circle, it's like they're kind of supporting it, okay? Keeping the support of the circle there, okay? Um, so I feel like you really feel like you don't have the support, but Spirit is reminding you that you're never truly alone, okay? You're never truly by yourself because Spirit is there, right? So it also has acceptance. So I feel like you've just accepted the situation for what it is or what it's going to be. You know, like it is what it is, it ain't what it ain't type energy, right? So it says, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Like, it is what it is. I'm just going to laugh at my demons, move on, proceed, right? Yep, so we have discipline and we have peace. So with discipline, it says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And with peace, I am being, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy, okay? So I feel like it's just not like you to, and we also have abundance here at the bottom. It's just not like you to stay in a funk, Pisces. That's not your energy, okay? So I feel like this is an unfortunate situation. But look at that, balance. I said your balance is going to be restored. And now you got balance twice. So thank you so much, Spirit, for allowing me to be an open and accurate channel. It says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment, okay? So just allow the situation to transpire the way that it's meant to, okay? I don't know what this is. Uh, for some of you, this might be a karmic situation that presented itself as something more, and now you're discovering that it's just a karmic situation, okay? That it came to teach you a valuable lesson about self-love, discipline, okay? And truly, truly how not to feel alone, okay, with just yourself, okay? I feel like that's the lesson. Understand that even if you're alone or you're single or you're just an individual, that you're not truly alone, okay? Some people do tend to uh, be more relationship people than single type people, okay? And so, like, you just don't want to be alone. But I'm getting this sense of spirit is saying you're never truly alone and maybe this is a karmic lesson to teach you that, okay? This is going to conclude your message. Peace and hair grease.